Hey guys, I'm Teresa Ingalls, and this is Keep It Historic. Today, I'm at Antiques in Old Town on historic Main Street in Lilburn, Georgia. I'm talking to the owners of this unique place that's both an antique store and in the upper level is their home. You, you know, you could have bought any place in Lilburn. You could have just bought a regular house. Why did you want to buy this beautiful historic building? I was just attracted to it. It's, uh, at one time, it was the heart of Lilburn. This was a, a mercantile store called Alfred's General Store. They operated from 1910 until 1948. Yeah, these are probably the original doors. For the general store? For the general store. Yeah, a large counter here. Have a ladder. This is not the original ladder, but it would have had a ladder like this that goes up and down between the, the uh, shelves to get things off the shelves. So this uh, cash register here only goes to uh, two dollars. Oh, <laughs> that would have been the, a lot of money back then. But you're selling things for more than that now, I bet. Yeah, occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> this building was built on the back side of it for some reason, and it's a, a 5,000 square foot building. This building burned in 1920 and was rebuilt in 1934. The front part was in 1910 and it's original. The windows are original, they're all crescent windows. There's, um, they're beautiful. Yeah. Oh man, they're so gorgeous. These are all, these are all non-functional. That one, they don't open is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Except for the wind, the window in the center up here. They had two doors, this, this door and that door. The windows over them, the crescent windows over them, would tilt out and let the heat escape. That makes sense. So this this one building used to be multiple businesses at one time. Uh, yeah, this was Alfred's General Store down here, and upstairs was a doctor, a meeting room, and a barber shop. The upstairs was originally um, Dr. Dr. Kelly um, owned the building, actually built the building, had the building built. He was a local doctor, a little country doctor. This is Dr. Kelly, he's the one that built the, oh, or had the building built. Just, he graduated from what's now Emory, but it's not as sophisticated as it is now. You go down there in 1900, and you would work along other doctors, and at some point they would say, well, you know as much as I do, you're a doctor now. <laughs> and the first telephone, one of the first telephones was here, and people come here to make calls. The post office was next door to get their mail. Uh, they got all their supplies and catch up on the local gossip, mm -hmm. and what have you. Yeah, but they would stand here while they're talking, sharpen their knife. <laughs> you know, like that, and it's wore out the brick. There's a lot of initials up and all down the wall with different People? dates and what have you. Yeah. He's the one that owned the building. I don't know if he did this or not. Yeah. Dr. Kelly. Charles Amos Kelly. Wow. He owned the building. One of the amazing things about this place is that the owners passionately care about the history of their place as well as the history of the town. They ended up building their houses on the style Highway 29. The McDaniel family. The McDaniel family. Mm -hmm. This is William McDaniel. The train actually came right next to our building here, 20 feet or so. The building was a depot, but I don't know. If yeah. <laughs> Can't prove it, but it was. While a historic general store certainly makes for a unique home, any home would be lucky to fall into the hands of Hugh, who cares so passionately about its history and its place in the town. And I, for one, am glad that Hugh has done all he can to keep the stories of Lilburn alive and to keep the building historic.